welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I have a cold, but I still gotta work. So excuse my situation. Mo, of course, went back to school after our trip and immediately just a cold, nothing too bad. But you know, they're little like germ factories. So, and if my kid is sick, I immediately get sick no matter what. Side note, until I had kids, I never had like an ear infection before. And all of a sudden, I was just getting ear infections all the time, like, because kids are so dirty. Anyways, back to important news. I thought it'd be fun today to do a video comparing, are pigments really worth it? Uh, if you see my stuff, you knew, you just have to be patient with my English today, okay? Um, you know that I use uh, a lot of pigments. However, there's some times where you might not want to use pigments. And I hear a lot of people getting upset or thinking that you need pigments to bloom. You do not. Um, they definitely give a different look and a different dimension, but there are some blooms, if I want really popping cells sometimes, or to get really good macro shots, like really close up shots, um, pigments and that sparkle don't really do it. Uh, so I have some colors mixed up and we're gonna do a straight pour with no pigments. And then we're gonna do the same pour, but adding kind of the pigment equivalent. So let me show you what I'm talking about. For the two paints, I have diorite yellow, golden. I have quinacridone magents. I have permanent blue violet. These are just things I've already had mixed up. I have Prussian blue and <laughs> titanium buff light. Oh, look at that, Amsterdam. So these are the tubies that we're gonna be working with. So I'm gonna do a straight pour with this, and I think I'm gonna be using my Payne's Gray Cell Activator, therefore this um, Titan Buff Light will be the top. You, you're gonna see like some cool peacock cells, even though um, I'm not really working with opaques, but because there's tubes and they're all tubes, you never know what's gonna happen. Now, for the pigment counterparts, you know I use TLP because I absolutely, honestly love them. Um, and you always know what you're gonna get. They dry the same um, as they look when they're wet and they're super sparkly. So for me, um, that's what I like, but really you can do this comparison with any pigments that you have. Um, quality will make a difference. I know they sell like a lot of like weird pigments on, on Amazon and stuff. And you know what, if you're just practicing, then that's totally fine. Uh, but not all pigments are made the same, just so you know. So for the yellow, I have lemon sorbet TLP. I have enchantment for the perps. I have for the Titan buff light, I have simplicity, which is kind of like, um, kind of like a pearl color, I guess, not really color. Um, on top of the blue, I'm gonna do Twinkle, which is an interference. It's actually kind of like a violety blue interference, but I love it. So I figured I'd throw it in there. And for the magenta, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't really feel like mixing up another pink and I had this Horizon mixed up. So we're gonna see, and you know what? I really love this Horizon over magenta. So I'm hoping it will look really cool. So basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do one straight tubey, one I'm gonna layer the the equivalent piggy over the tubey. Um, I'm not I'm not saying one is better than the other. They're just totally different looks. Uh, I don't know if I told you my lights. I can't find <clears throat> the plug for them, so it's like kind of like natural light right now, which also isn't great. Uh, so you'll just kind of bear with me on this disaster video today. Well, let's get to work. Okay, I've laid some of my Glidden Essentials eggshell down. It is quite thick today. Um, so it happens when I leave it open for a bit as I'm painting in my cold basement. So hopefully it'll work. Okay, so boobles out. You don't want to come out, huh? There you go. Okay, let's see. Do I have enough? Yeah, it should be good. So let's start with the yellow. Um, all right. I really love magenta 
over yellow. Sometimes it gets to a really nice um, orangey color. Okay. Now, do I want to do blue or purple? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Why don't I do blue then purple, right? I don't know. I'm hoping this will look nice. This is an eight inch board, by the way. Then I'll do the purple and then I'll do the Titan buff on top. Because this is opaque, I'm not going, I'm going to use it very sparingly. I have a video all about peacock cells, how to use opaque paints for your blooms. All right, ready? Let's blow her out. Oops. Whoopsie. You can see how thick my pillow paint is. I have to blow so hard. And then I blow through the pillow paint right here, which I don't love to be honest, but we have some cute peacocks going on. Let's let, let it rest. So let's talk about what was happening. Um, do you notice how hard I had to blow because my paint, my pillow was very thick. Now, when your paints are too thick, by the way, I have a whole uh, video about consistency. Um, you have to blow harder, therefore you get a lot of pillow paint coming up and your colors look faded. So when you see um, your blooms with white, a lot of white, that means some of your paints were too thick. Now that doesn't mean if you like the way it looks, then that's great, keep going. I'm just letting you know why things look a certain way. Listen, this is this the best bloom I've ever done? No. Is it very dark? Yes. Are we going to spin it out and see if it looks good? Yes. Do we have faith in it? I see a lot of imperfections, so I'm not too sure. Although I know <clears throat> I'm pretty hard on myself. These little guys are really cute. Actually, I don't want to touch them. But you know, when you know what something is supposed to look like, it's hard to, you know, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and I'm gonna start spinning. Although there's a little buble right there. Okay. Oh, let's see, let's start spinning. Let me move some my paints out of the way. This isn't like the color explosion that I was hoping for. And I, as I started blowing, I could see like my first blows, I was only getting dark. So I had to blow lighter to get the under colors. Oops, we're really moving away here uh, from underneath. <clears throat> so I'm just getting back to the middle a little bit. So it's not bad, it is dark. I might wanna do a redo. We'll see how she looks when all the paint is off. Um, but I'm not like uber impressed. There are some cool areas though, but for me, like something like this, where there's no color in all pillow, uh, that bothers me. <clears throat> so we'll see how it goes, you know? I might switch up my, to a different um, container of my pillow paint that's thinner. But if I keep this, I probably shouldn't, so we can compare, right? But I know we are our own worst critics. But then sometimes I'll, <laughs> you guys will be like, no, that is really ugly. I, I actually don't mind this overblown part here. It's kind of cute. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I might not scrape her and I just tried my, to do a redo. Because when I sometimes when I scrape things, you guys get mad at me. Um, although this is looking pretty watercolory, which I don't mind. I love the watercolor look. There's just one little thing that's bothering me here. Now, by the way, if air bubbles pop up as it's drying that you didn't notice, you could always just take a paint pen and fill it in before you kind of resin it or whatever you do to it. 
All right, you know what? She, listen, she's cute, okay? Like, yes, it's not my style. Um, I do love watercolor looks and I rarely get it. Um, so I'm not gonna complain about her, so I don't wanna hurt her feelings. Um, not what I was expecting or looking for, but that's what happens sometimes, right? We'll give her one more spin, then we'll put her to the side and we'll put the sparklies in. Now, that might be a little more challenging because of uh, the consistency of everything. So we'll see how that goes, right? But listen, She's cute, kind of. We'll see if I'm satisfied. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put her to the side. Let's get the next one. Next one. Hope this one isn't a fail. Come on, little pillow. I know you're thick. By the way, if you have thick pillow, um, you can send it with a touch of GAC 800. I don't usually kind of mess around with it so much, um, but you could do that. You could add it like a, I wouldn't start doing it, but you could add a touch of water if you wanted to. Not more than 10% or something. I think that's the science of it. You could add, but again, I don't know, a bit of American Floetrol. Okay, I saw a lot of blue blaze in this guy. Blue blaze, out. God, oops. This pillow is like mad at me today, you know? She's like, why'd you let me get so thick? It's okay, relax. We're all thick. <laughs> okay, a little. I'm gonna do a little bit more in the middle just because I stretched it out a bit. Ew, see, there's a big glob trying to get out. No thanks. You almost fooled me. You cannot fool me today. Okay, I'm gonna do the same layering with the oh you're not really in the middle here you go uh with the piggies all right so we have diorite yellow we have lemon sorbet <laughs> i was just thinking i sometimes get comments on my Instagram or Facebook, people think that I'm blowing on a cake and they get very mad at me. And they say, ew, disgusting, you're blowing on a cake. Um, which I get, you know, could look disgusting. This is the horizon. But now that I'm sick, oh my God, people must be going nuts. I'm gonna tell everybody. Blow my germs on the cake. Here's this. It is Prussian blue. Now, here is the twinkle. So now I have to remember, I have to blow kind of differently. It's not just going to be effortless. Like, I, after my first blow, I have to judge. After each blow, I do have a blowing video too, by the way. There she blows. Um, but you have to judge, like, as you blow, what's happening. Here's enchantment. Oh, by the way, I'm not using simplicity because... Uh, I don't put a cell, uh, a piggy under a cell activator, so we're just going to top with a Titan buff. Use simplicity another time. Okay. Are we ready? Let's see how the blow goes with the piggies. Here we go. drooling. <laughs> it's a hard one today. All right. Can't do too much. 
That wasn't a great blow, to be honest. But we got something, right? And it's something to compare. Um, I did get more color up, at least. Oh, super dizzy right now, because I had to blow really hard. All right, let's do our little schmoozies to make pretty things, maybe, you know? I'm really, <laughs> really lightheaded right now. Uh, oh man, okay. Let's try to make pretty things while you're lightheaded. Get that yucky bubble out. Okay, I don't know if that was pretty. Actually, you know what I mean? Um, that's fine. Here's a little buble. Get her out of there. Okay. Well, let's just spin and see, right? I don't like what I just did there. Okay. Let me just fix this little buble. All right, let's see. And then, I'm just gonna move my paints actually out of the way. Then I'll compare, and then we'll see what you like better. Definitely different looks, because um, I had <clears throat> pigments in this one, you can see the blow definitely was different because of the different um, consistencies of what I was blowing out. You know what I mean? And when I do a close-up, you'll see better the kind of sparkle versus not. Do I really, do I want to redo the first one, though? I don't know, guys. Like, this is okay. This was a challenge to blow it to. Uh, so it's not like the best bloom I've ever done, is it? <clears throat> Use the sparkles, nice. <laughs> That's the other thing about doing, using pigments. Even if you make a really ugly bloom, sometimes just the sparkle kind of like masks if it's too ugly, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Let's see. Wait, I want to do one more. I think. You know what? I'm going to just quickly, <clears throat> as I lose my voice. I think I'm gonna quickly do one more without the piggies because that one might be bothering me. Okay, but here she is. Um, definitely sparkly. Um, and pretty good, I think. Um, all right, let's get to doing another one of just two paints. Okay, let's do it again just to see uh, if I can do a better job. Uh, so I had my Glidden Essentials down. I'm doing my Dye Ride Yellow. I'm also going to put more color, bigger puddles down to get good coverage. Um, then I'll do the Magents. And if this doesn't look better, then I'm just kind of going to give up for the day. <laughs> Sometimes you got to walk away, you know? So I have the Prussian blue. Got the perps. And a bit of the Titan buff. Okay. Now, let us hope. So again, I gotta pay attention to my blow. Let's see how my blow goes, right? Okay, pretty dark. <laughs> I 
I don't want to blow too much twice because that's where we'll get the pillow paint coming up. So a lot of yellow came up in the middle. I don't know if we like that or not. Um, like there's some cool spots, but a lot of not cool spots. It's pretty dark. I probably should have put less of, of the blue and purple together. Layering's important. So let's fix her up a little bit. I don't like that yellow popping up so much. Um, I don't like any of this. Too much yellow. Ew, right? I like this area. I don't like all the yellow. It's bothering me. I don't know why. Um, hmm. Curious. I guess I'll just spin it out anyways, but I just kind of trying to break up the big boring parts, you know, so they're not so big and boring. Ooh, did I make a big drop? Yes, I did. Maybe today's just not the day for painting, you know, let's see. Um, it's not bad. Just trying to fix the big mistake I made here. You know? I don't know why that yellow was bothering me so much at first. It could still bother me, but we're not sure yet. No, it's okay. Right? I mean, is it better than the first one? Well, definitely fuller color is happening. Um, there's a little buble. So I don't know. I guess you guys will let me know. Um, yeah. I suppose this one's better. So I suppose I didn't waste anyone's time. Uh, right? So there. Hmm. Now I'm like, do I want to redo the pigment one? But then like, who has all day? You guys don't have all day and watch me do this. Um, all right, well, here's this one. Let me think if we're gonna redo the pigment. If I don't redo the pigment, uh, let me know what you guys think. Pigments, no pigments, are pigments worth it? Have a good day, bye. Okay, I gotta do one with the piggies, but I'm going to um, not put in the blue because that's, I think that dark is really throwing me off. Also, I ran out of my thick pillow paint. So this is from a thinner thing. So I also have to watch out for that and see the difference and not blow as hard as I previously was. So we're going to do yellows. <laughs> I'm determined to get something that I'm happy with. You know, you know I love my happy endings. Um, we'll do this. Also because like I use pigments a lot and I do want to show you like why I love them so much. You know what I mean? Okay. Perps. Not too much of her. She likes to take over. She's quite bossy. Let's get her back in the middle there. My, my power is getting really big. That's okay. I'm probably putting too much, but I'm kind of rushing just because, you know, I hate long videos. Um, and I will top it off with a bit of this guy. 
Okay, so I got a bit of paint in my salad tomato. I just mix it up. Okay, here we go. A weird blow, but I wanted to make sure I didn't blow up too much of the pillow and that we get some good sparklies happening. You can see, oh my god, I'm so light at it. <laughs> you can see already, um, it's they're different looking cells because a my pillow paint is thinner but also because of these sparklies in there um i'm not even gonna skewer anything i'm just gonna blow it out just to mix it up a bit okay let's see right Let's hope this one's like passable at least. So I can <laughs> just relax and be happy for the day. Um, yeah, not bad. Like not the best, but you know. At least you have a lot of different examples to see what happens uh, when you don't have a good blow or when some of your consistencies are off. All of it is really important. I, I am enjoying the sparkle of this one for sure as it is. It does look very watercolory. Um, that's partly due to the fact that my um, paints were a bit thicker than my um, pillow paint. All right, I mean, listen, we'll go look at the sparkle. Now you've seen kind of two examples. Uh, like, are they the best? I don't know, I don't even know. But whatever, you'll let me know what you think. Um, was this a good kind of example to show you the difference, what happens to your cells um, and everything else when you add pigments, because they do change. And you guys will let me know. I hope you enjoyed, sorry if this was way too long. I'll be back on my game in a couple days. Um, hope you have a good day. Bye.